As I mentioned in the headlines, 150 South Koreans are making a three-day visit to the North Korean capital from today. The trip is for a joint event organized by the two Koreas to celebrate the 11th anniversary of their 2007 summit agreement that is called the October 4th Declaration. For the latest, let's connect to our Unification Ministry correspondent, Oh Jung-hee, who joins us on the line. So Jung-hee, uh, we want to know whether this delegation has left for the North yet. Mark, yes, the delegation left for Pyongyang from Seoul Air Base about an hour ago. They're flying into North Korea using the direct air route on the western part of the peninsula. Uh, by now, the South Korean delegation may have already landed at Pyongyang Airport. As you've mentioned, this trip is to celebrate the 11th anniversary of the October 4th declaration. The joint celebratory event will be held tomorrow at People's Culture Palace in Pyongyang. But besides attending that event, the South Korean delegation has a packed schedule for the next three days, uh, touring around some key spots in Pyongyang, watching North Korean performances, and most importantly, uh, meeting up with their North Korean counterparts for talks. It's expected South Korea's Unification Minister Cho myung gyun could meet up with Lee sung won the chairman of the North's uh, Reunification Committee, for high-level talks. Uh, take a listen to what he had to say before leaving. This is a trip not only by government officials, but also members of the National Assembly, political parties, regional bodies and civic groups. We will make this an opportunity to further solidify reconciliation, cooperation and peace between the two Koreas. We are not sure if there will be high-level talks, but I expect there will be discussions on implementing the Pyongyang Joint Declaration and necessary follow-up measures. Seoul's Vice Health Minister and Cultural Heritage Administrator are also joining the delegation, which means uh, that they too could meet their uh, counterparts to discuss medical and cultural cooperation. But as the Unification Minister mentioned, the South Korean delegation includes not only those from the government, but also from the parliament and civic groups that have dealt with inter-Korean exchanges. And in a change from past visits, the delegation this time is co-led uh, by the Unification Minister and Lee Hye-chan, who's the chairman of the Dong Hyun Foundation and doubles as the leader of the ruling Democratic Party. Uh, the Lu Hyun Foundation was set up to commemorate the late former president who adopted the October 4th declaration with then North Korean leader Kim Jong il back in 2007. The late former president's son, Lu Gon Hu, is also making his way to Pyongyang, which draws attention to whether the sons of the leaders that adopted the declaration, Lu himself and Kim Jong un, could share greetings. Mark.